hi guys welcome back to our channel if you have an old wig that doesn't look how it used to this video is for you we've all had that wig you know the one that you've left in a drawer but then you pick it out and you think hmm this can actually work Bust down, Bust down, and then you put it on it's like what the hell this doesn't look like the picture it used to today I'm gonna show you how you can go from this to this how you can actually revive an old wig and transform it into one that looks brand new. Let's start off with some washing. Depending how long you've had your wig, I'm talking six months, a year without washing, etc. It's best to start off with a clarifying shampoo and a nice deep conditioner. Avoid Afro hair products on your straight unit. I like to start off by saturating my hair with water, followed by shampoo and conditioner. You can brush your hair before this stage, but I like to do it between the shampoo and conditioner stage. Thinking about mm, being a good girl that you are. Good man. Tell you what I've done. It's for somebody else. It's all bad. Telling me so many lies. This is a lace frontal unit and previously I've installed it with Got To Be and you can just see a lot of excess around the rims. So if you have this problem, what you have to do is get your clarifying shampoo and massage it along your hairline, really just rubbing it in. Depending on how filthy your wig is, you can go for two shampoos or one shampoo. I mean, I've had my wig for about a year, but when I had it on, I only had it on for, let's say, a week. So it's not that dirty, I mean. So I'm just going to go for the one shampoo and one conditioner. This is where I tend to detangle my unit. I like to start from the ends and work my way up to the top. Girls, this is just to prevent you from ripping out that hair from your scalp. Yes, I said your scalp because this is your scalp, this is your hair. If your unit is really tangly, you can actually condition your wig first and then brush through it. If you'd like to keep your parting, just wash around it and sort of not brush through it. That's all done. Give it a good old rinse. Washy, washy, washy. Then you can damp it with a towel, hang it in your garden, put it in your tumble dryer or on your radiator, or you can blow dry it. The choice is yours. Once she's all nice and dry, pop her on and we're ready to party. Let's go. Now there's just a line in the sideburns to making sure it's all fitting in the right places. The wig is nice and snug. As you can see the front, there's a lot of excess lace. I will show you how to get rid of that. Still look a bit freaky though. Now always find the parting that you'd like to go for and follow the curve if you still have one or the middle part and whatever it may be. And then just sort of brush it either side. Here's the lace that we're going to be getting rid of. So what you want to do is cut in a zigzag fashion all along your hairline, removing that excess lace. Some people like to keep it on for glued purposes, but I still think it's seen. So I like it cut nice and close to my hairline. Mmm, that's looking yummy. Once that's complete, go in with some got to be glued spray and gel. To use this method because I find that it's quick, you know, popping the gel on your hand, then you spray it and then you let it run down your arm and then it just looks disgusting. Oh. So you're just going to mix it around in a circle, sort of pattern, mixing the gel and the spray together. It does start to look a bit unappealing if you ask me. I mean, it's, it's a bit disgusting, but we move. So once it reaches a perfect sort of tackiness, go ahead and spread along your hairline or just the edges, wherever you need it. To increase the tackiness, blow dry your hair a little bit and then lay that unit. I mean, lay it to the front, like stick it down, melt it in. If you have hairs near your eyebrows like I do, what you have to do is just brush those hairs forward and let the lace lay directly on your skin. Do not let the lace lay on any hairs because it will show up that lace and girl. Yeah. 
Usually I'd use the white strips but I've recently been trying this new elastic band and I find that it presses the lace into your scalp a bit better. Even if you're wearing a glueless unit it just looks like it's melted in. And I mean it looks kind of cute. Now I'm just going to go in with my Osmos straightening fluid to prep my hair before the blow dryer. Generally 613 hair is a little bit more harder to manage because it's been processed so what I like to do although we've you know detangled it before is to brush it through again and then adding the blow dry just gets out any extra tangles. This is just to prep it before the styling. Now going in with my ORS Hair Repair Thermal Protection Serum mainly focusing on the ends and some of the body of the hair. For those that want to have a straight finish, take more time sectioning your hair row by row all the way up to the root. I mean, grabbing it in large sections won't do you any justice. I'm actually looking to add some bouncy curls after this, so this is why I'm just doing a quick run through with the straightener. The secret to flat hair is using a hot comb. This is our Boss Look hot comb. You can actually get it now for $29.99 on our website. I'll leave all the links down below. So what you want to do is put the straightener through your hair and press with the back of the hot comb. This will, I'm telling you, like flatten any bumps and it will just slide through your hair. And it's really good for helping you to define your parting. Or if you'd like to change parting, generally just part it, use the hot comb and press it down. As you can see, I'm also combing through the hair to get the roots that I missed out earlier with the hot comb. And look, I mean, it looks kind of cute already, but I'm a curly hair kind of girl. I'm gonna go in with some straightener curls first. I like to prep it with a little bit of hairspray, um, just for an extra hold because the hair is processed. The curls generally don't hold as well as unprocessed hair. If you would like a video showing you how to curl with straighteners or flat irons, comment down below. I mean already like this doesn't even look like the same wig this is looking so hot like this wig is hot right now I think I need some water well that was good isn't it now I'm just going back in with my hot comb to just catch any little flyaways that I may have missed before So here's the trick of the cowlick. I like to go in with a bit of hairspray followed with a hot comb and it just gives it that lift. You know that slick lift, you're like, how do those girls get that? Yeah, this is how. Let's see what's been happening. Ooh, so they are my baby hairs on the sides. I'm gonna show you how to blend those. Can you see that gap in my parting? I'm gonna show you how to solve that problem. So if you've got like alopecia looking closure, grab a Sharpie or a mascara and what you wanna do is just go in with some fine lines. As you can see, I'm not pressing in that hard because it will be a little bit obvious. I'm just doing some fine strokes here and there. The part it looks better already. Now to merge it all together, I'm just gonna go in with the Got To Be gel and brushing my hair over the lace. So this is what I meant by not getting any hair underneath the lace because it would show up where the lace line is. At the front, what you want to do, if you don't have your own baby hairs there, just part out a thin section of hair and go ahead and trim them with some scissors. This wig does need to also be replucked, so if you do have a unit that looks a bit thicker now, you can actually start to pluck that back. Once you're happy with your baby hairs, go back in with the band and this is the final time you're going to tie it down. Leave that to bake and what? What? Is that me? What? This is the same wig ladies, like come on. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Delete all that. Thank you all so much.
so much for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. Tell a friend. Hopefully now you'll be able to transform an old wig into a new one.